Hello, Paul Hamilton here from U2B. Lots of interest in this live video kind of design template in Keynote. So I thought I'd do a video from start to finish and work you guys through the process. So it's super cool, um, great for design, using live video, using Apple Drawings with Apple Pencil and using Keynote. So I want to walk you through from step to step how to do this. Uh, pause this video at different stages so that you can practice and go slowly. So why don't we get into it? Let's, let's do this thing. So what we're going to do is I'll go back to presentations and create a brand new keynote deck. I might select the white template, keep it really simple and plain. And I'm just going to tap on each of these text boxes and just delete them. So what we need to do is have a reference because I can't draw. So let's go to one of our favorite websites. Let's go to Unsplash and I'm going to type in a search for dress and we're going to use one of these. These are free creative commons and you just type in dress at the top and do a little bit of a search and we're looking for a dress that kind of has the outline of the model itself but also has a very defined kind of boundary of the dress itself. So if I do a little search here for dress, you can see lots come up. Um, this is a little bit of trial and error, so you're going to select one that you think will work. We're going to basically color the dress as green and instant alpha and get it rid of. This is a nice one just hanging. Um, it's got some of those creases, so we can kind of work with that with some lines in our line drawing. Um, but I've got one saved. I'll show you the one that I've got saved. I'm going to go into Keynote, go to Plus, go to Photo Video, and this is the one that I'm going to use because it's got some really nice defined features on the dress itself. So I'm going to position that on my keynote, don't worry too much. I'm going to tap on the image and go up to my paintbrush. Now what I'm going to do here is go to style and I'm going to lower the opacity so that I can see what I'm actually drawing. I don't want to go down that far, I want to go down to about there so I can see my line drawing. And then with my Apple Pencil, I'm going to tap on my screen and start drawing. You could do this with your finger, obviously Apple Pencil is going to be a lot more accurate. So I'm going to go to my pen tool. Uh, second from the left there, I'm going to select my palette, which is going to be black. I'm having a little bit of a flick and a bit of a play with the thickness. You can tap on your pen to adjust the thickness. Um, so it's always good to have a bit of a, um, a bit of a play with your kind of um, thickness before you start. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go with the dress. Um, please bear with me. I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to make lots of errors here because um, I'm doing this live. Normally, I take a lot more time. So I'm going to keep using my back arrow when I have mistakes, but I'm basically just going to do the outline. It's not going to end up as a detailed drawing. It's a bit of a sketch design. So I'm just going to select the dress itself. Uh, these black outlines are really, really important. So feel free to do some extra things in there, like do the creases, do the lines. Um, don't just do the outline because when we actually instant alpha this, it's going to look good with the black itself showing the outline of the shape. So, you know, I might just do a couple of the outlines of the dress itself. Um, I'm going to do the uh, lines of her arm. Now, you can see here that I might not have grabbed the actual outline of that left-hand arm. Um, I'll show you what the problem is when we do color fills with Apple Pencil later on. But I'm just going to spend a little bit of time there. Uh, I won't spend too much time on this. I'm going to do the ha hair outline. I'm going to do the face outline. I'm not going to worry too much about detail because it's going to be very much like a sketch. So it's not going to be a, a detailed picture of the lady herself. Um, I'm just going to do the kind of bob head cut there. I'll do the outlines. And what I'm hoping to do is to make sure that I'm going to do a color fill on each of these areas. So I want to make sure that my lines join each other. Um, when I go down the bottom here and select the paint fill, uh, which is the one next to the eraser, um, and I'll show you what the problem is if you don't join your lines. If you're really new to Apple Drawings and Apple Pencil, um, we want to make sure that we join our lines. Now, you can see here I'm pinching, I'm zooming. Um, you'll notice that when you go down to the bottom of your keynote drawing here, it might not go all the way down. So I've zoomed out a little bit. Oops, done a, an eraser. So I'll just go my back arrow and redo that. You'll notice that when you draw down the bottom here, uh, it might not go right down to the bottom of the slide. So you can just kind of reduce that. So when I go down the bottom there, it's not going to do my um, acrossways. So I can actually just adjust that and just go across. I'm not going to spend too much time and be pedantic, but I do want to make sure that my line drawing does definitely join up. 
I want to make sure that they're in closed kind of areas. That's looking really good. So um, I've done the basic shape there, which is great. I'm actually going to tap on the photo itself and I'm going to delete that. So when I delete that, um, you'll see that my outline is there. That's looking really good. Uh, I've got a white background at the moment. So I might actually go up to my paintbrush on my keynote. Don't highlight your thing and just change the background color to a gray just so I can see the colors coming through, what's white and what's not. So when I tap my Apple Pencil now, I'm going to select the paint fill, which is that one there. Yep. And I'm just going to select different colors and start playing around with it. Now, I want my dress to be green because I'm going to instant alpha it. So I'm going to get rid of that and put my live video behind it. So make sure that your dress is a different color to the rest. I might make it just a different color for the skin. Um, see this little bit here? This is the bit that I'm trying to tap now and it won't do. And that's because I haven't really joined it up that well down the bottom of the right. See her hand there? That line doesn't really join well. So I'm just going to go back and just do a little dodgy uh, join. And then if I go back to my paint fill or, or color fill, it should give me a better response there as I go along. So I'm just going to zoom in again and you'll be able to see that I can actually kind of fill that in a little bit as I go. And it's gone yellow. You can change the colors. I'm going to go with a brown kind of hair there and just keep tapping as I go along. Make sure that I've got no transparency, no white. That's looking really good. So what we need to do there is once you're finished, you're actually going to go up to your three dots and we're going to export this whole slide as an image slide. So we'll go up to our paint, um, up to our three dots. We're going to export that as an image file. It can just be a JPEG at the, at the moment. So you can make that a large size. Make sure that you select what you want to export. So I've only got one slide, so it can be all. I'm going to share, save image, and I'm done. So this bit here is really, really easy. That's done. I'm going to create a new slide in Keynote. And I'm going to go up to my plus and insert that photo. So you can tell that it's got the brown image. There it is. It's beautiful. So I've got my first page, which is the keynote sketch. The second one is an image. That allows me to go up to tap on my image, go to my paintbrush, and I'm going to use something called instant alpha. And it's in the image section. See at the middle there, image. And I'm going to drag my Apple Pencil over the green until it gets rid of just all of the green. So now it's made that transparent. It's still got the black. And what I can do now is I can layer a live video. So I'm going to go up to plus at the top. Now that I've cut that out, go to live video. And at the moment, it's facing me. So I'm going to go up to my paintbrush, tap on my default camera and add plus a rear camera. So I'm going to name that rear. And then I'm going to press at the top, add. That's going to be my live video. And I'm going to press add. And then down the bottom there, you can see I can change the video from front to back. So now it's a rear video. So that's great, but it's not the great dimension. So I'm going to go up to paintbrush, arrange, and I'm going to toggle off constrained proportions. That way I can actually retrofit my camera. Look at that. that this is cool. So I'm going to place it right over the dress. Then I'm going to go up to my paintbrush again and go to arrange and layer it drag that across, the toggle across, layer it to the back of the image. And that's it. What I can do now is I can hold up my iPad to the outside. I've got some nice wool here. Oh, that's a perfect texture for a dress. And kids can go around and search for different kind of textures to fill their dress. They can go out to nature. They can look at flowers, rocks, textures, patterns. And you can see here, fantastic. I've got some different dresses. You can apply this to not just dresses, but any objects. But you can see here how I can actually start looking for some different designs. There's a different design there. And you can go through Paul here from UTB.